Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to the web tutorial training video. As you may have noticed, the Arthritis Foundation has a brand new website and so we wanted to give you a personal tour of the new advocacy page uh, since some of the tools have mover, moved around and may look a little bit different than you're used to. So from the Arthritis Foundation homepage, to navigate to the advocacy homepage, you can hover over Get Involved here at the top and either click through straight to our Action Center to take action on a number of different opportunities or click through to the advocacy homepage, which is what we are going to do right now. So you will see a big picture of the U.S. Capitol building and an Advocate for Arthritis uh, title, and you'll know that you are in the right place. After you scroll down a little bit, you will see a big search bar. And it's important to know that this search bar will search across the entire Arthritis Foundation website, not just the advocacy page. So if you are already here and you would like to search for juvenile arthritis or um, science or health and wellness or, or anything like that, you can type it into here and you'll be able to search for it and get all of the results from the whole website. We also have a number of quick links that we have added in here of some of our most frequently visited pages on the advocacy site. Um, and we will go over some of these today. The first one is the Action Center. So you can have another quick link to go take action very quickly. And we will do a tutorial of the Action Center a little bit later in this video. The next one is the Ambassador Program. We will also go over this a little bit later in the video since it does have so many pages and resources and great things to see within it. Our next one here is the news and letters page. And this page is very special because it houses all of our important documents like coalition statements or letters to different agencies and things like that. It's all of the different news and regulatory letters and things like that that we might be working on that don't typically go in advocacy and action newsletters or anything like that. So check out this web page to read about everything we've been up to, um, I guess, on a daily basis uh, for the past several years. I believe it goes back to 2016. So check that out. Our next quick link here is insurance management, which you might know better as the prescription or RX for access toolkit. So the prescription for access toolkit or the your, your coverage, your care toolkit has many different offerings and resources to help you choose the right health coverage, learn more about the insurance plan that you already have, how to manage claims and denials and appeals and all of that really complicated stuff, um, and then learning more about how to access and afford and, and pay for your care. So there's a lot of different great articles in here to look for, and you can also search at the top um, if you'd like to find a very specific thing, and it'll give you a bunch of different um, responses there. So I would definitely recommend checking out the Prescription for Access Toolkit and keeping it on hand in case you hear about someone talking about an insurance issue and you might not have the answer for their specific plan, but they can find out some more information here. So this is again the Prescription for Access Toolkit. The last quick link button we have presented here is the Find Legislator and Track Legislation button. And you likely know this as the legislator lookup tool or the legislation uh, tracking tool or something like that. And these tools look very similar to how they did in the old format of the website. But to track legislation, to look up different information about a bill that you've heard about or one that you're taking action on, you can search either federal or state and enter keywords to find different bills that you're interested in or click on any of the ones that we've highlighted here for you to look at. So if you click into the Safe Step Act, you can see information from Congress about what this bill does, um, where it comes from and what it's amending and all of that. You'll see that there is a related bill or a companion bill as some call it, um, which is in the Senate side of Congress. And then an explanation from us about what this bill will do, whether we support or oppose it. And of course, we, 
we support this legislation. And you can read on a little bit more about um, any specific bill that you are interested in. So definitely check that out. If you scroll down a little bit farther, you'll see the Find Your Legislators tool. And this is a great way to look up your legislators on all different scales um, and see who you should be contacting. So you type in your zip code and your address and then hit continue. And after it loads, it will give you a list of all of your officials, um, all the way from your local delegate or assembly person up to the President of the United States. So you can click onto any of these people and get some more information about them. You'll see a picture of their face, you'll see what party they are in and all of that. You can find their address and their social media, some personal information about them, if they um, are religious, um, what kind of uh, university they might have gone to or any different um, commonalities that you may have with them. These are really important to know. Even their birthday, it's great if you can send them a message um, just saying happy birthday. We'd like to continue working with you this year. Political lets you know when they assumed office and all of the committees that they sit on. So if they were to sit on a committee that is specific to health or something like that, that would be a really great segue to send them a message. And then this last portion here is a list of all of their staff. So if you are contacting them and you'd like to uh, get in touch with a legislative director or someone that covers health, like a health policy advisor, you can call and ask for that person's information if you would like to. Once you click out of that, you can choose to send a message to whoever you'd like by clicking on the gray box next to their name. If you scroll down a little bit and hit compose message, you'll see that you are sending a message to that official that you've clicked on and you can send a message about whatever you'd like. We recommend starting with as a constituent and an advocate or an ambassador for arthritis and then getting to your ask and talking about why it's important to you, sharing your personal story, making a personal subject line. Um, if you're information isn't already listed here, you can add it in there and then hit send message. You'll get a confirmation email that lets you know you've sent it to that person that you can keep on file. So this is the find your legislators and look up legislation tools. Now we're going to scroll down and look at the main pages you can reach from the advocacy homepage. Scroll, scroll, scroll. First up, we've got federal. This page offers information on federal advocacy priorities, like reforming step therapy, addressing the pediatric rheumatology shortage, and more. You can check back here whenever you need a refresh on the issues we take to Capitol Hill. Under state, we've got our state director contact information. Under meet our advocacy team, and our legislative victory map. Check this page if you need to get in contact with your state director about a local event or issue, or if you need a quick way to see where and when patient-centered legislation has passed. This would be a great page to check before meeting with policymakers. Plus, Mary, Kristen, Stephen, and Pam are always ready to answer your questions and provide you with advocacy assistance back to the home page. Now we've got our tools and resources page. As you can see, this page has a lot of materials from trainings on how a bill becomes a law to how to write an op-ed to an advocacy glossary and additional how-tos like engaging on social media. This page is your go-to for Advocacy 101 materials. Again, that's under Tools and Resources. So many options here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Issue Briefs. This is where you can learn more about our work and positions on certain topics, from out-of-pocket costs to market stabilization and more. So here's a couple of these pages. Got one on surprise billing. As you can see, it shows you the issue, 
the solution, current trends, and an opportunity to share your story about this topic. Just a really great way to find out everything you need to know about certain federal issues. If you spend enough time on this page, uh, you'll be a policy pro. Finally, the last link on the home page is video training. Here you'll find old webinars and briefings to brush up on your skills. We've got the Advocate webinar series, and you can see ambassador briefings. And that's the home page. Next up, we're going to scroll down more and click Take Action, which will take us to the Action Center. Whether you've navigated here just now or if you were brought here by an email action alert, you'll be able to see a list of all the action opportunities we have going on. So here you can see a bunch of different options. You can click on the one you're interested in completing. Let's do surprise billing. And if you scroll down, you can read the description here and then enter your personal story in the message box over here. Once you enter your information, your contact information down here, the Action Center will automatically pair your email with the legislator it's intended to go to. So it's just super easy. You send the message, it goes to the right person. That's all you have to do to make a huge impact. So the final portion of our website that we are going to go over today is the Ambassador Program page. And this holds a lot of great information for ambassadors. And for those of you that don't know, the Ambassador Program is another grassroots advocacy program here at the Arthritis Foundation that allows advocates to take their advocacy to the next level. So they meet with their legislators in person, whether it's August recess or another time. They complete a number of different ambassador assignments and bonus activities throughout the year. Um, and they are our most engaged people. So to learn more about the ambassador program and to get to all of the resources that you might need, you can either click on the quick link that was at the top of the page under the search bar or down here at the bottom of the page, you can click learn more under become an ambassador. From there, you'll be taken to the ambassador program homepage and you'll see a bunch of different great information. So here you'll see your current ambassador assignments page, information about the junior ambassador program, which is a similar ambassador program just aimed at teens ages 13 to 17 years old, the platinum ambassador program, which is an award that ambassadors will earn if they complete a certain number of assignments and activities and things like that throughout a given year. You can see more information about our advocacy leadership retreat happening in Washington, D.C. this year. Next is the Ambassador Reporting Center. And this is very important for ambassadors to continue logging their activity with us. Um, and we will talk about that in just a moment. And then finally, of course, is the Action Center, where you can quickly take action, uh, share your story, and send a message to your legislators about whatever you are interested in. At the bottom here is the Become an Arthritis Ambassador sign up button. And so you will be taken to a sign up page and you will automatically be signed up for um, the ambassador update newsletters that go out every other month um, and get more information about our ambassador briefings that also happen every other month. And those are webinars that update you on all things ambassador program. So this is our current ambassador assignment page. And this is where you can find everything new um, and upcoming to complete for the ambassador program. So first you'll see that our first two assignments for the year have been posted and those are listed here. As the year goes on, more uh, sections in this accordion here will be added and you'll be able to take action. These also show up in the ambassador update newsletter that you'll receive so you can stay up to date. Each one will include an assignment guide, which is a, just a PDF file that gives you more information about the assignment, how to complete it, uh, the background about it, and all of that. 
So be sure to check that out. The next part allows you to go straight to report your activity. And it's very important after you've completed um, an assignment or a bonus activity um, or anything like that, that you report your activity in our ambassador reporting center, which we will look at in just a moment. Reporting your activity allows us to know um, what you have been engaged in, if you've been talking with legislators, if there's a specific issue that you're interested in or anything like that. It also counts towards the Platinum Ambassador Award, which is awarded each year towards the end of the year based on activity that is reported in the reporting center. So that's a very important thing to bookmark um, and keep in your back pocket as you go throughout the year. At the top here, you will see our ambassador briefing information. We have uh, ambassador briefings or webinars every other month. They are always at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and you can see some more information about how to call in at the top of the page here. But each of the dates are listed here with a link to register, and that will take you to our WebEx uh, server that will help you sign up for each one individually, and you can add a calendar notice to your calendar so that you can remember to join us on these different Wednesdays uh, for ambassador briefings. So check these out. So this was a basic overview of the Arthritis Foundation Advocacy website in its brand new beautiful format this year. So we hope that this helps you navigate the website a little bit easier and understand just where all of the tools and resources you may need as an advocate live. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to your state director of advocacy, which you can find on our website here. Um, and let us know if you have any feedback or questions um, or anything like that. So thank you again for tuning in and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.